A nine-year-old from Luzerne County has become quite the bird expert, but it's not her knowledge of her feathered friends that got our attention. He's our very own vainglorious Poppin' Jay himself, News Watch 16's Ryan Leckie in the digital studio with the story. Hey, good morning, guys. Tom, I don't even know where you were going with that. You're a strutting parrot. That's where you are. I love you, buddy. Hey, so this morning we are introducing you to a nine-year-old bird whisperer from our area. More on that in a moment, but also proof that so many of you love our feathered friends. Yeah, take a look. I received dozens and dozens of photos early this morning and overnight, including this from Betty in Wyalusing. Guys, this is pumpkin pie. She's 40 years old, so she's 15 years older than I am. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Yeah, Your math is a little that. off. I'm just making sure you're tuned in this morning. And by the way, we can't be talking about birds without giving a shout out to our Newswatch 16 Central Pennsylvania reporter, Nikki Cries. She is a bird lover, guys. She's always posting cool content of cinnamon and sugar. Oh, they're so cute. And we have the same hair, right, Tom? You, you, you both <laughs> blow it up big. Love it. From Diana in Schuylkill County, this is her pet bird. And other great shots as well from Joey. This is Rainy. Apparently, J Rainy is not a fan of feet. Thanks so much for sharing that image. And from Tina, I love this. Charlie Bird Guys is big for the camera. From South Williamsport, loves photo shoots. And likes to celebrate St. Patrick's. Totally. And as Mindy and Tom mentioned, one of our focuses this morning, introducing you to this amazing third grader, a nine-year-old from our area. And even before she was in kindergarten, she had a passion for birds, not just learning about them, but saving their lives. This is Peggy. She's our fun counter. She has one foot. Her favorite snack is a peanut. She's the nine-year-old bird whisperer from Plymouth. This is Peep. An avian enthusiast who Evelyn Lyons' mom noticed her daughter was turning into when she was young, like really young. We went to a pet shop one day and she was probably two years old. She wanted to rescue the birds. She wanted to bring them home. So we brought them home and she started taking care of them. Why is it important for you to help rescue these birds? They need home and we got to make sure they don't starve. And now this third graders mission to save abused or neglected birds and then adopt them out is starting to spread its wings in our area, including on some billboards. Over the years, Evelyn has rescued and fostered all different breeds, finches, parrots, and cockatiels, just to name a few. Do you have a favorite bird if you have 40 of them? Yes, sir. Why is Sparky your favorite bird? It's your first bird, right? Feathers are really soft. Then he likes racing with the other bird. Evelyn's family says the nine-year-old became an ornithologist of sorts, aka bird expert, simply by doing her own homework and then sharing her knowledge with her brothers. She also works closely with a parrot rescue in Luzerne County called My House of Wings. Evelyn's long-term goal is to open one of her own. Why do you want to have your own rescue one day? So I can help birds. If you'd like to support Evelyn's efforts, you can meet her and even donate in person at this event on Sunday at the Wyoming Valley Mall in Luzerne County. The money she raises from a donation jar here, as well as her online fundraisers, help Evelyn purchase food, cages, toys, and other supplies for abused and neglected birds before they're placed into forever homes. A project spearheaded by a nine-year-old from Plymouth who just wants to give her feathered friends a second chance at life. And you can learn more about everything Evelyn is up to at WNEP.com slash websites. And also there more information on that parrot rescue in Luzerne County, My House of Wings. But guys, who knew so many people had so many feathered friends in our area? And we just found out you used to have a bird too. <laughs> yeah, so when I was 18, 19 years old, no joke, I had a bird named Axel Rose. I lived in this apartment that had like a jungle theme. So, you know, guns <laughs> and roses, welcome to the jungle. Axel Rose, but I gave it to a friend of mine who loved the bird when I moved. But uh, we did have the same weave. Oh my goodness. I want to see pictures. Thanks, Ryan. And the same taste in music, I hope, too. <laughs> hey, let's check in with my